Feel great. Um, no, this COVID thing is crazy. Um, like I said, I was ready to go last week. Tested positive, so um, it's crazy. But at the same time, I'm very grateful. You know, so many people suffer from this disease and so many people, you know, struggle with this thing. So I was very lucky I had no symptoms. Um, felt a little tired, a little congestion, but other than that, I was good. I was able to work out, do the things I needed to do so that I could come back here ready to rock and roll. You don't, you don't. My ankle feels good. Um, like I said, I I stayed all bye week, um, worked, worked my butt off the last you know month, to try, try to get back um, that I can. Like I said, I was aiming for around the Chargers game, um, and then I got tested positive. So um, it's good. It feels good. And uh, I feel like I'm back where I need to be. Jared, I think you'd only missed one start in your career before these three. How difficult was it for you to, to have to watch the last few games? Uh, it was extremely difficult. Like I said, I pride myself on, on being available. Um, I feel like that's something something that's unique for me. Um, I never want to miss a game. Um, I never want to miss a rep in practice. That's just who I am as a person. Uh, my mom and dad taught me that at a very young age is always being accountable and show up to work. So no matter what you have or what you do, you always got to show up and, and put your heart on the line. And that's what I try to do. So when I missed the last couple of weeks, it was very hard for me um, watching the game, watching my brothers do the thing. But I was also very proud of the guys that filled in. Um, and did what we needed to do to get the job done the last couple weeks. How important were the last two days conditioning for your conditioning? Good, man. Like I said, I've been running and lifting. Um, so I feel like I'm conditioned. I feel like I'm good to go. Um, I don't really have too many issues. Like I said, I have asthma. I know it affected a little bit early on in the week. But other than that, I, I feel like I'm good. Like I said, man, you see, you see the banners we have in our indoor. You see this tradition that we have with this team, from you know when Mr. Elway played here to all the greats with Outwater and all these guys, you know Keith Bishop, all these guys that you know built this culture here um, with Mr. the Bowling family and how much I love and care for them. You know this is such a unique organization. This is a special organization. Everyone knows you know the Bronco logo all around the world, and so you know where we've been the last couple of years is just unacceptable for me. And I know for a lot of the guys here, especially a leader that I am, and they put their faith in me. So going out there in, king, in the kingdom and, and playing the Chiefs on Sunday night football is nothing better. Um, you know, with all, millions of people watching you, you want to go out there and play your best. So this is definitely a step forward for us to move forward. But at the same time, you know, I know there's so much nonsense that's going on outside the building. We've lost 11 here and there. But really, it's just, it's just the guys in this organization. It's the guys in this room that we know we need to count, look at each other, be accountable for each other, and go get the job done. Did you see your wife's tweet that it was time for you to get out of the house? <laughs> yeah, man, my wife told me, and I was like, oh, man, you got me again. But uh, I love my wife, man. She, she likes to have fun with it. Um, you know, she's a great person for me. Um, it makes me a better man, so very grateful for her. But How she long was, was she holding back that uh, slip on ice video? I mean, I was trying she had that in the back pocket? For about a year, so. Uh, she always finds ways, but we have fun with it. We, we jab each other back and forth, so you have to do that when you're married, you know?